Hello, Singer Unified teachers K through six. Uh, this is Rachel, and I'm going to take a minute to share with you some exciting new resources we have on our Canvas platform. Um, we have our HMH curriculum, which includes journeys, um, and then up in the sixth through middle school grade includes um, collections, and then Go Math. All of this content is going to be available for you to access um, to pull into your Canvas courses. So I'm going to show you how to do that just show you where you can find things and what you're looking for. So I have a sandbox open. Now you could pull um, content in to a power school created course. You could also, if you were creating um, a individual course, one for language arts and one for math and one for social studies, one for science, you could pull um, this content directly into one of those courses. It's kind of up to you how you use it, but I'm gonna use a sandbox course for example, and I'm gonna import from Commons over here on the right hand side. <clears throat> now I'm gonna filter and search for only Sanger Unified approved district or Sanger Unified district approved courses. And then I can search by my grade level. I'm gonna actually search by sixth grade for right now. And um, I'm just going to click shared with Sanger Unified School District because those are the courses that I'm looking for. So what you'll see is I have all of these math, 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 and then ELA, ELA, ELA. So what you'll see is that um, I'm going to use ELA as an example. Um, here are all of the sixth grade um, collections assessments, which would be the equivalent of six, fifth grade journeys assessment or kinder journeys assessments. And then um, this sixth grade collections plan teach practice assess is kind of like the hub that contains all of the teacher resources for all of the sixth grade collections, um, which would be the same thing as all of the fifth grade journeys, et cetera. And then you'll see that there's an individual um, course created for each individual collection. And the reason why these are separated out like this. So you'll see um, here is collection one, um, collection two, which is the equivalent of like a unit one, um, a collection two, um, three, four, five, and six. Um, the reason why they're separated out is because not all teachers use all of the um, journeys or go math or collections curriculum they might use one unit or two but this is a lot of content each of these courses contains a lot of content so um, i want you to be able to pull it exactly kind of what you need as opposed to having to have this course filled with all this stuff that you don't use so i'm going to use this facing fear just assuming that that's a collection that i use with my students i'm going to open that and um, you'll see here's a preview. It's really just all of the content. Um, so plan. If you look in our in the collections books and in the journeys and go math, each each um, teacher's edition section has like kind of a jingle word. Like in in collections, it's plan, teach, apply, practice. Um, and so you'll see that kind of theming run through each of the lessons. But anyway, so here's lesson one and you'll see there's plan. So that's all the teacher materials and then teach and then practice and apply and assess and reteach. And it keeps going all through all of the lessons, lesson two, lesson three, four, five, all of them. So I can click um, import and download and I'm going to import it into my sandbox. And I'll click import into course. Um, now, the other thing I want to show you guys is this um, assessments um, course, which it, you can call it a course or whatever. That's just how I set it up. In your course, it would look like modules or quizzes because see how over here it's like 41 different quizzes. Um, so... I'm going to import these quizzes into my sandbox as well so that I can show you what that looks like. So that's going to be loading and I'm going to open my 
sandbox so that we can look and see what this magic is that was created for us. So here we go. We imported collection one and you can see their student editions and I'll just click and show you some of these things. Um, so here's um, a student edition that's loading. So it's what is basically the online version of a textbook. Um, there's a teacher edition, um, additional resources like magazine, family resources, um, Explore e-magazine, <clears throat> but then we get to the actual lesson. So here's the teacher edition that shows me how to plan. Then here's all these student editions. And basically what I could do is I could click on this, on this link and make this based on that teacher edition um, an assignment in Canvas. I can use these digital um, documents um, to do that. Um, there's like student edition worksheets, close reading, um, level up tutorials. This is something that I know a lot of teachers use, even if they're not using um, the actual curriculum for their units of study. Um, so like if you're teaching a, a um, novel study on care and you're teaching a mini lesson on character traits, you should you could hop in here and pull this out and use this with your students. Same thing with close reading activities. Um, so you'll get the idea with that. Um, there's some great stuff in here. Not that doesn't necessarily, like I said, just apply to if you're teaching the actual modules. Now I'm going to go down to quizzes, which is where I will find all of those tests that were imported. And what you will see is that there is a test that is pre-made in Canvas for every single um, unit for every lesson, there's practice tests, there's reading tests. I can go through and click on any of them. Something I'm going to highlight is um, these um, CAS practice tests even. You could use those even if you aren't using um, the individual units with your students. There's also a performance task practice test. Um, I'm going to open up this collection one test just to show you. So it's pre-made. If I click edit, um, I can go in and the fabulous thing about this tutorial, guys, um, or, or about these resources is that you can edit and modify. If you want to add a picture or a video or a lesson maybe that you already did or a resource, you could add it there. Um, you can change the assignment group it goes to. You can change whether it's graded or if it's a survey or if it's a practice. You can add time limits, shuffle answers, sync to power school. You can change any of these. Um, you can require an, ac require an access code. Then you can come up to questions and you can actually change the questions too. So like here's a reading, a prompt. Um, you can actually click on each question right here. Click the edit button. You could change any of the text that you want. You could change any of the answers that you want. Um, if you wanted to add additional questions, you could also do that. Um, so let's just say you wanted to maybe make it more rigorous. Um, you could do that. Um, it's really kind of up to you. The other thing is that you could add a mastery path, which is a little more complicated. And some of you know how to do this. Some of you don't. We're going to have some Canvas trainings coming up on this. But if a mastery path would be like if a student completes or gets, you know, a 90 percent and above, then they go and they do this assignment. And if they get an 80 percent and above, they go do this assignment. And if they get a 60 percent or a 70 percent, they have to do this remediation activity. So basically, the point is, is that you can customize these tests however you want or need. You can delete questions, add your own, and then you can assign them, and you can make your own unique modules out of them. So there is a summary of our resources. We're going to have some additional training on these HMH resources and how you might use them with your students, publish them, not publish them. Um, but... To get you started, there you go. I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have questions.